good afternoon this is surishali in my last lecture we discuss about some introduction of microcontroller and microprocessor then uh, we also discuss about the architecture block diagram and memory organization of pic 18 microcontroller and we also learn about the registers and addressing modes i have mentioned the link of that videos in below description box now in this session we will learn about the some concepts or short descriptions about watchdog timer power down modes brown out reset and power on reset so let's see so the first thing is watchdog timer so before move forward to this concept i will give you one example see the best example of watchdog timer is radar system radar system generally used in a military area army area so radar the basic work of radar system is uh, that can be used to fighter aircraft or finding the any enemy aircraft and the controlling air to air missiles rockets and guns right so they basically they check any suspicious activity or any unwanted aeroplane or other countries aeroplane will move forward to our army area or our military area so they check continuously this thing so this is the basic work of radar system and just think that if this system is hang for 5 minutes then what happen then in this particular 5 minute an enemy plane or missile may go undetected right so it resulting in huge loss so to avoid this kind of huge loss watchdog timer is used so basically watchdog timer is a hardware timer okay so they continuously check that the radar system is properly work or not and if there any issues was happen any hardware issue or software issues was happen so at that time they continuously reset the system and watchdog timer also having the backup facility at that time so watchdog timer uh, timer is clocked from a separate on chip oscillator and their frequency is 1 megahertz and in pic 18 microcontroller pin diagram the pin number 14 they handle this watchdog timers so they uh, this watchdog timers at that time automatically reset the system they also solve software or hardware faults in this particular system so this is the work of watchdog timers they continuously check the work of radar system and for this thing uh, we can't or we didn't ha did, didn't happen any huge loss from in this particular military area so there is uh, as compared the microcontroller programming watchdog timer bit timer bit is there that is wdtn that is watchdog timer enable bit when this bit is zero so at that time watchdog timer is enable means they continuously check the radar system and if wdt is disable means one so watchdog timer is off now the next bit is swdtn that is software controlled watchdog timer enable bit so this software controlled watchdog timer enable bit they check the watchdog timer means watchdog timer is on or off if this swdtn bit is one means watchdog timer is on otherwise it is zero means this swdtn this bit check watchdog timer and watchdog timer check radar system in this particular sequence now see here in this diagram there is a cpu and watchdog timer so watchdog timer continuously check the cpu and their clock cycles if uh, if any particular thing is happen they reset the cpu and again watchdog timer is also reset right so this is a work of watchdog timer they continuously check a particular thing or particular system now the next concept is power down modes so power down modes is very useful for uh, power management system or more efficient power management system there are total three modes in power management run modes idle modes and sleep mode we all are famil familiar with this three mode in our daily life in daily routine we generally use this three modes so basically these three modes provide variety of options for power conservations in various applications so let's see first the first power down modes is run mode so run mode means your uh, clocks or both computers pe their peripheral devices all things are active this is called as running mode okay so basically the run mode states that the full power execution mode means your cpu is working properly your computer is also working properly everything is working is properly as per the clock cycle so this is called as running mode or active state and proper power supply is there for each and every application this is called as running mode now 
the next mode is idle mode so basically in idle mode they allow the microcontroller cpu to be selectively shut down while the peripherals continue to operate means your cpu is shut down but other peripherals are continue to operate so uh, the examples are generally in your laptop there is a option hibernate mode so hibernate mode means it switch the system right but other peripherals are continuously work next thing is if you can't use your system uh, continuously or for some time at that time your screen uh, cpu monitor screen is off right but in background the peripherals are continuously work but screen is off right the next thing is your power supply button is on okay your main power supply button of your computer is on but your computer is still shut down right but still there is a particular green light is blinking there right means your cpu is shut down but peripherals are still on so these are the different examples of idle mode means when your system is in hibernate mode your screen is off power supply start but still your monit your cpu is shut down okay so these are the concepts of idle modes now the next third power down mode is sleep mode so generally sleep mode is used in lowest current consumption state see uh, in your mobile uh, there was a option that is uh, when battery is down that is lower consumption state or lower battery backup is there right means there was a particular battery backup but in lower state so this is called as sleep mode and this sleep mode also option is available in your laptop when you goes to sleep mode your uh, computer or your laptop is switch or sleep in state and other peripherals are also in off state so this three power consumption modes are generally used run mode idle and sleep now the next concept is brown out reset so before move forward to this concept i will give you one example see uh, i think you all uh, you all are face this situation in your home or in your organization sometimes power supply is down or low voltage is there or dim voltage is there right so this thing is called as brownout reset when the power supply goes to lower state so at that time this brownout reset is work okay so generally brownout of microcontroller is a reduction of power supply voltage below the level okay so at that time this brownout reset is work so this brownout reset which is also called as low voltage detection that is lvt okay so they generate the trigger or they produce the interrupt when voltage is low so just see here see here in this diagram that is v1 v2 and v3 okay so just consider that v1 is your normal power supply voltage that is plus 5 volt suppose okay so plus 5 volt is your normal power supply voltage and v2 means plus 3 volt if your power supply voltage is between plus 5 volt to plus 3 volt is good okay but if power supply goes to below plus 3 volt or your voltage is low or voltage is dim so at that time this thing is directly goes to danger zone okay means see when voltage is low you just shut down the uh, your tv uh, or a refrigerator fridge you just shut down all these appliances right means that is a danger zone there is a, there was a chances to happen a particular uh, things right so this is called as brownout reset so when uh, the power supply voltage is below the particular threshold value so at that time they reset the system okay or they generate a trigger that is power supply is low or low voltage is there so this is a work of brown out reset they handle this kind of power supply system now uh, this brown out reset having also uh, two parts that is brown out hardware and brown out software so when uh, brown out is generally important safety features in electronics and microcontrollers okay because when low voltage is there so at that time uh, there was a chances to harm the particular system or to harm the particular appliances so uh, there was a hardware brown out so when uh, power supply is low so at that time hardware brown out keep until the power supply is returned to the operating range okay means they always ensure that all parts all the hardware parts are of the particular circuit work correctly or not 
so they continuously check that means there is no any fault uh, or tolerance occur in this particular hardware system and software brownout reset means when power supply is low or when low voltage is there so at that time they detect the falling voltage and they also uh, take care of the critical components or all the vital information or all the uh, software's library files they handle all those things means software brownout reset provide the safety features to each and every parts each and every information to your system so your information can't lose at a time so these are the work of brownout and hardware and software reset so these uh, things are already built in in your microcontroller now the next one is power on reset so you all are familiar with this concept you always uh, reset your computer you always uh, reset or reboot your mobile right so this thing is similar to that that is power on reset so uh, in microcontroller there is a bit that is mclr means master clear reset so when you restart the system when you restart your laptop or your computer so at that time mclr equal to 0 means this bit goes to 0 means you reset and terminate all the activities and when uh, your computer or laptop is started after reset so mclr is equal to 1 means you can start the normal execution right so this master clear reset pin handle the power supply or reset system of your uh, computers laptops or all the other devices so generally see here in this diagram uh, this is just a diagram of uh, the the particular power on reset see that is d means diode so diode is electric current they pass in one direction to the particular system then uh, c means they continuously supply the voltage constantly for example plus 5 volt power supply and that is r1 is a resistor they can store all your temporary information here and this is your system and here r means resistor so resistor means resistor power supply if power supply is plus 5 volt so resistor resistor power supply means they can pass only plus 3 volt to the system means as per the requirement or as per the task they can perform at that time they supply the power voltage so this is the power on reset so you just remember this thing that is mclr this pin that is a pin number 1 in your uh, pic 18 microcontroller uh, pin diagram pin number 1 so mclr pin handle this kind of functionalities so this is all about power supplying modes or power managements in pic 18 microcontrollers thank you keep watching